Welcome back. In the previous videos, we looked at how Jodie got started by defining the process scope, adding an activity for each step, and then how to create a process in the process designer. In this video, we'll look at how she'll govern a process. To maintain efficient, consistent and current processes, an organisation needs to show accountability. A process needs to be owned and managed so that the information consumed by users is up to date. This is the responsibility of the authoriser who is assigned to the process. Authorisers are normally subject matter experts and other people within the business that are responsible for the process. To create a master version of a process ready for users to consume, the draft needs to go through an authorisation cycle. To do this, Jody, as an author, will add Brad as an authoriser to the completed draft version and then initiate an authorisation request. When Brad has signed off the process, Jody can promote it from a draft to a master version ready for Jessica to use. Let's look at how this works in Nimbus. The Edit Diagram button signifies that a process is in draft and Jodie will continue to work on this until it's complete. Then she'll add the authorisers. Authorisers are managed in the stakeholders section. They can be assigned to a single process diagram or a scope of process diagrams. There are several options available for adding authorisers. You can add yourself, a dynamic user, or specific users or groups. In this example, Jody will add Brad as an authoriser. The sequence of authorisers can be changed after they're assigned. For example, one user or group may need to authorise the process first before sending it to the next. Now that Brad has been added as an authoriser, Jody can initiate an authorisation request from the Authorisation Progress section. Authorisation requests can be for the current process diagram, the current process diagram and the lower levels, or the entire process. Jody will request authorisation for this process diagram only. She'll enter some notes for Brad to view when he receives the authorisation request and set the authorisation due date. She also has an option here to enable email reminders. Brad will be notified by email that Jody has sent him an authorisation request. The email will contain a link to the request and Brad will also see the notification alert when he signs into Nimbus. The status of the process at this point is authorisation pending. Brad will review the process and either accept or reject it. If the process is rejected by any authoriser, the process content must be updated before another authorisation cycle is initiated. After every authoriser in the sequence has approved the process, the status changes to Promotion Ready. Jody will promote it to a master version by selecting Promotion Ready and then Promote Diagram. The status of the master version is Draft, Locked and becomes the single source of truth within an organisation. There is now a draft and a master version of this process. Jessica will use the master version and Brad can unlock the draft version and use it as a platform for continuous improvement. In summary, when your process is complete, assign authorisers, then initiate an authorisation request, and finally, after the process has been signed off by the authorisers, it can be promoted to a master version. Thanks for watching. Music